Hi folks, my name is Jacob Santowski and I'm an Elite Applications Engineer here at Go Engineer. And today we're going to be looking at the difference between model items and annotation views for creating annotations on your drawings. Let's start with model items. One of the most common ways to create dimensions on drawings. And one of the first things we need to look at is how they even get there. So if you go to Tools Options or Options, and we go to Drawings. We can see right here that if you mark all part assembly dimensions for import into drawings by default, this is checked. This is a standard out of the box check mark that says that every dimension that you make is deliberate and will go in the drawing. How does that show up? Well, if we go ahead to one of the views here and take a look at one of these dimensions, this is what that checkbox does. It marks this dimension to be imported on a drawing. That's this little box right here for each dimension that just says that this is turned on. So if you want some dimensions to not show up on the drawing when you go to press model items, be sure to uncheck this button or check this button if you want it. This is the button that allows the item to be imported into the drawing with model items. Now let's go through a typical workflow to bring dimensions into a drawing using model items. We're going to say file, make drawing from part, choose our template, and then place our standard views on here. There is a button for this. If you go to drawing, standard three view, we can go ahead and bring the three views that we need onto our drawing. Now to annotate those views, we're going to select model items and bring them in from the entire model here, or we can use selected feature. We have other blogs that we'll reference in the description to get more information on model items. You can see here that we're going to bring in items marked for drawing. You can bring in items not marked for drawing. We're also going to bring in our whole wizard callouts, but you could also bring out tolerances and patterns as well as whole wizard locations. Hovering over shows you what this will do, and as well as a myriad of other annotations that you may have put in the part. And of course, if I want to go ahead and create additional views, I can click the auxiliary view, select this edge, and then click to place that view. Now I want to do some cleanup on this drawing. I want to shift the dimensions from this top view to the auxiliary view by holding left click and holding the shift key at the same time. And I can do this for any of the dimensions that are showing up in this view here. Now, if I don't have any dimensions in this top view, I can go ahead and remove this top view and then move this view around. Drag a box around all of the dimensions for this view. Right mouse click or hit the instant pop up and press auto arrange to auto arrange the dimensions to further clean up the dimensions on this model. But now I want to talk about another way to bring in dimensions via the annotation views over here. In order to fully understand where all dimensions come from, they're actually organized in this folder called annotations. And in the annotations folder, we have all of the different views, the front, top, and right view, which are going to appear in the drawing. And we can associate dimensions to those views. By simply right mouse clicking on the annotations folder, we can select show feature dimensions to see what this looks like in a 3D view. And then right mouse click on the front plane and orient to see what this will look like. The spatial arrangement of dimensions and orientation in the model view is exactly how it's going to show up in the drawing. This is where those get assigned. You'll notice that the 2D dimensions or any of the sketch dimensions are in black and any of the fillets or extrusion dimensions will show up in blue. Let's take a look at how these dimensions look like in other views by right mouse clicking and we can select activate and reorient and see what these dimensions look like in the top view, as well as activate and reorient the right view. Now, I want to go ahead and switch to an isometric view so I can right mouse click and activate the unassigned items. It would be nice to get these items, these dimensions, into a view, an auxiliary view, just like we created on the drawing earlier, but do it right here in the model. To do so, we're going to right mouse click on annotations and select insert annotation view. With annotation view selected, instead of using a regular annotation view direction, one of the standards, we can choose selection. And I want all of the dimensions that are parallel to this face. So that if I hit the next button, 
There is a checkbox right here, or a little button right here, that says select all annotations parallel to the viewing direction. I'm just going to hit that. It's going to grab all of those dimensions. I could also add additional dimensions at this time with a left mouse click. But there are other ways to get the dimensions and move them from one view to another. If it says annotation already exists in an annota another annotation view, in this case it wasn't unassigned items, do I want to keep them in unassigned items? No. And I don't want to keep them in unassigned items for all of them. I want them all to move to this new auxiliary view. I'm going to name this auxiliary view from annotation view to aux view. And then we're going to assign additional uh, dimensions from one view to another. These are all the dimensions that I want inside this auxiliary view. But I don't need all the dimensions here on my top view. And some of these dimensions can also show up on my front view as well. So I'm going to move some of my dimensions from my top view to my front view. Activate and reorient my top view to move dimensions from this top view and assign them to the front view is a simple right mouse click. We're going to right mouse click on our dimension here. Left click to select the annotation view we'd like to move it to. And then left click again to the new view you'd like this dimension to go to. You can grab all the dimensions at once by clicking the leader lines and holding the control key. And then you can right mouse click from there with all of these dimensions selected. Left click to select a new annotation view you want to move to, and then move them again to that new front view. So going to the front view will activate and reorient to get all of those additional dimensions that we needed to add to that front view. And since there are no dimensions on the top view right here, we can go ahead and delete that top view to clean it up. By taking the extra time to assign the annotations and dimensions to the views where I want them to show up in the drawing and organize them here. My drawing is just going to be a couple clicks away. Now, you can predefine some of the views inside of your drawing when you go to File, Make Drawing from Part, so that the annotations show up automatically. But as you can see here, everything's been predefined at the part in the annotations, exactly where I stuck them. So my dimensions show up exactly where they should be showing up, and I can bring in my auxiliary view right here from the view palette and have it oriented with the dimensions that I want shown at that specific viewing area. So again, just taking a couple extra seconds to do all these annotation views, make sure all the views come out clean, or you take the time to clean up the drawing right here with model items. But two ways to add dimensions to your drawing to hopefully help improve your workflows. Thank you for watching this SOLIDWORKS quick tip on additional techniques to bring dimensions into your views via annotation views. Thanks for watching.